So, so basically what, we, what we're looking at today is some 3D technology that we're applying to our surgeries. We're actually getting a sense of, of, of depth perception that you would not be able to achieve with a conventional two-dimensional endoscope. And the other technology we looked at is an overhead camera that is again a 3D camera which has the ability to, to zoom um, to very high magnification, a bit like a microscope. So that again um, produces a, an image for those what, looking at a screen with, with 3D glasses on that is that is similar to what you would have with your own two eyes using binocular vision. This is the first uh, 3D system like this in Canada. As far as I know, no one else has it or even has it in the pipeline. The learning curve for the 3D technology for someone who's used to endoscopic surgery was, was very, very um, flat. Basically, uh, it just took a matter of seconds for me and my trainees that I, that I train, including quite, quite junior surgeons, to basically get used to using the 3D technology. Qu quite honestly, seconds, because it's basically the, the same view they're used to getting, but just much clearer and much better. We wanted to support um, healthcare for youth in our province, because uh, we feel like giving kids a strong, healthy start is one of the best ways to build a healthier future for everyone. And um, we came to Children's Hospital and we said we'd like to support a new piece of technology, a new piece of medical equipment. And they showed us uh, this piece and we, well not physically, but they taught, told us about this piece. Um, and we met with Dr. Chada and we heard about the type of surgeries and the impact that it would have. And we were so impressed, we were blown away. We were really excited to be able to fund it. What, what it's allowing us to do is just do that surgery in a more precise way, in a, in a way that's that's more in keeping with other forms of surgery that are not endoscopic, where we're used to having a depth perception from binocular vision. And so I think it's, put, it's allowing us to push further what we can actually achieve with an endoscope more safely, but also pushing the boundaries of what can be, can be done in these, in these less invasive approaches.